Hey guys, welcome back to the start of today's video. So luckily, last night I put the car up on ramps. That was in preparation for today. So we actually have to set the ride height um, properly. So we have to take the wheels off again, adjust the coilovers because we just installed coilovers on this thing. Shockwear coilovers. I've written down exactly how far we need to adjust them. Just over here. So you can see right here with this very scientific layout right here. We've got front left, front right, back left, back right. Should have been like real left and back. You can see right here there is a 0.5 centimeter discrepancy and down below there's about a uh, 0.5 as well. So what we need to do is I've decided I want to raise car 0.5 centimeters on this side over here. So of course 0.5 centimeters on this side, one centimeter on the other side. So it's times like these I wish I had a lift in the garage. Maybe one day when we get a big warehouse or something. I don't know. Low car problems. All right, so we have all the wheels off the car now. And what we need to do is adjust these coilovers. So how we do this is we loosen this bottom collar right there and we adjust it from up here. So as we rotate this, the coilover will move up and we can measure that gap in between the collar and the bottom perch. Then we should be good. It's very simple. Of course, these coilovers come with some tools as well. So it's very easy to just adjust them. You also got to make sure that when you do decide to tighten that bottom collar down there, you tighten it really hard. But if you don't tighten it, then your coilover will move up and down. Down. And you definitely don't want that, especially after you get an alignment, which we will have to do, but we will have to wait until lockdown has ended. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Car's now all set. We're gonna put it on the ground, see where it sits, give it a measure, and if it's close enough, I'm probably just gonna let it be for now. So much effort to raise your car. All right, so the car's looking pretty high right now, but we're gonna take it for a little bit of a drive and hopefully it'll settle a little bit more. So we don't have to put it back down because it's actually, you know, I'll show you. That's, it's reasonable. It's a reasonable gap right here. At the front, it's a little bit unreasonable. It's like two fingers. Yeah, so I might have to lower it a little bit more, but we'll move it out, see what it looks like and go from there. Let's go for a little quick test drive. I just moved the car a little bit before, so the uh, ride height would settle. And it looks like it didn't really settle too much, so the car is still on an incline, but you can see that the wheel gap is uh, not incredible. It's about two fingers. We could definitely go lower, but you can see the side skirt's almost on the ground, so it's pretty a uh, it's a pretty respectable ride height for now, and I think we'll just roll with it. Just coming off the ramps and turning the car around, it already felt incredibly different. Um, it's feeling much softer. It feels like it absorbs the bumps really nicely. I'm gonna set up the camera in there. We also still don't have the rear seats and everything in the car, so we'll be able to hear a lot of our road noise and stuff. But yeah, it's actually crazy how much space you got in here without any seats. You could probably fit like, yeah, three, four sets of tires in here now. Looking good for sure. Not too bad. Fitment isn't too bad. They're already way better than the other coilovers because they're not making any sound at all. All right, let's go for a little bit of a drive. All right, first bump down my street. I didn't even feel it. <laughs> what? What the hell? Oh wow, all right, let's go down a really bumpy street to feel this. The first thing that I'm really noticing is how soft the car is. So we have a 20 kilogram in the front and a 12 in the back. I was wrong for saying a 19 in the other video. So it's actually a 12, but even having a 20 in the front, I can't feel the spring weight at all. So we're gonna take some corners a little bit hard and see how it goes cornering. But even going over like every bump, I can't feel anything. It's, it's insane. All right, we're gonna corner up here. I'm gonna take it a little, little bit faster than I should. Here we go, let's feel the dampening. Oh, yes! Damn! <laughs> Damn, all right. Okay, I see it. I understand now. Like, that should have felt really bony. It's on the softer setting as well, by the way, so. We'll try this street. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I understand now. That's insane. That's actually insane. So it seems as if it's like absorbing all the bumps like a stock standard car would do. But when you want it to be stiff, you get stiffness. So when you're going around a corner, it feels really planted. We do need sway bars, which will improve the ride quality even more. But for just a coilover install, this is absolutely insane. I'm not sponsored by Shockworks in any sort of way. Look at this, this is a really bumpy street. That's so comfortable. 
I'm even going to go as far as saying this is as comfortable as my Camry which has blown shocks and is a freaking family sedan. I guess this thing is too, but it's got coilovers now and it's soft as hell. It feels like a brand new car, like a, a, a car that came out of a showroom in 2020, 2021. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> oh wow, okay. That felt so much more planted. Because we have stiffer coilovers now, oh, it just stalled out. Thought I'd fix that. It's like I'm sliding on ice, which is exactly what you want for drift. Is the corner coming up? corner with, with like barely any effort that's awesome I'm limited by my tires now because I'm running 235 RE003s um, all round square set I could run a thicker tire in the back to get even more grip but definitely for the time being that's mid I've been like saying that I'm very used to the speed and yes I am but it's still shocking like we're making 260 ish kilowatts and it feels it feels very quick for, for 260 kilowatts I actually haven't dyno tested so we do definitely need to do that and confirm which we will do before I start doing other stuff like ethanol and injectors and all that Ooh. but I am very curious to see what this thing's making um, stock standard with just a bolt-on turbo uh, pretty much standard ECU and no tune on 98. God damn. <laughs> that's stupid. Sweet, that's sick. This is a really bumpy road, by the way, and it's super comfortable. Definitely worth the money. If you guys want to get some shockwork coilovers, man, get them. Don't even, don't even think about it. If you can, if you can afford them, definitely cop a pair. A set, I should say, not speed bump. It's absorbing the speed bumps like really well. Wow. I would have to take them way slow before because the side skirts would come down after this going over the speed bump and just crush, crash, whatever. Look at that. We're going over pretty quickly and the car's not moving much, but it's absorbing the impact somehow. I don't know. It's like wizardry. Yeah, a bit of a tunnel. Oh, we went over that bit too fast. We also haven't got an alignment yet, so we do definitely need to get one before we properly sort of test this thing, I guess. But we have set it to a height that's very similar to what we had before, so I'm sure that it's close enough to the point where I can be driving it without too much sacrifice. But we definitely need to get a proper alignment. It feels so good around corners. I also noticed that even when we're uh, just trying to take off, it's so much easier to get off the line because um, it's not like squatting as much. I've had to stop recording because my wideband for some reason decided to just stop working. Literally displaying nothing right now and I'm a little bit worried about that because I, I know I probably don't need to like look at it anyway because we know that it's set right but just in case for some reason we ever do need to turn it up like I want to be able to see the uh, the AFRs for, for some reason I don't know why it's not displaying so I'll have a quick look I guess. Uh, everything looks normal. It might have like a faulty, it might have like a faulty sensor or something. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. So I couldn't figure out exactly why my wideband was not working. So uh, I'm gonna have to look into that uh, probably tomorrow. But just thought I'd conclude today's video with letting you know. We're selling t-shirts on the bankyspec.com website for $20. So if you wanna cop some merch and help support the channel, click that link down below. Got a bunch of stickers and all that. Just sold out of the jet tags. Go check it out, description down below. And just to end today's video, the shockwork coilovers are incredible. I know I said that a million times, but you honestly got to feel them to understand what I'm talking about. It's, it's incredible. I didn't think a coilover could be that good. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy some more lockdown, do nothing. So, talk to you later. See ya.